Beth Z guess said. what? <laughs> hey, guess what Beth Z said? Oh, wait a minute. Shh. Don't talk about that now, Mary. Oh, okay. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> we here. Help. Help. Hey, guess what? You guys are listening to the dork table and we're yeah, let's work together. Come on, come on, let's work to I was I was boogieing and Flash can't hear it, so he sees my head bobbing around and I'm sure he's thinking, God, now they have a Grammy bobblehead. <laughs> I- what? I have I have some wonderful advice for you. What's that? W- why do you not work together? <laughs> go, go be free, my dove. Go work together just <laughs> over there, away from me. <laughs> isn't he cool, Miss Mary? I just like Hank. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Um, okay, I need to read Lochnar, apparently. So, Lochnar I'm says, Lochnar over in the corner pocket says, pocket. Tune in to the dork table with Flash and Graham Z today at noon where zero fuck is given and the word fuck is never absent. All at reallibertymedia.com. And there's two bom- F-bombs for the price of one within the first three minutes. Booyah. Fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck. It's just a word. Get over yourself, lady. But how do I get over... Well, okay, I am short, but how do I get over myself? Because if I'm trying to get over myself, no, then parts see, of me I, are going over and I'm still not... I, oh, huh? Do. I said get over it. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Adding Ooh. the surprise ending is never going to work on the dork table. <laughs> you may, You may proceed into fantasy land if you can... Be like, but I will not refrain from calling Hank back so he can give you a talking to. Oh, oh, uh, yep. did did you see what Sock said? <laughs> if wow. he saw my head bobbing around, he wouldn't think that at all. <laughs> uh, it didn't say around anything. It said bobbling. <laughs> Your ability to add words where certain words weren't is just amazing. I love it. That's why I listen to your uh, your rocket chair so I can separate your writing from their writing. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, sunny beaches. I'm sorry. Okay, Uh, I got to say hey. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a duck break for Miss Mary. A (laughs) duck break. Please do not evacuate the building. This is not an emergency. It was just a duck, a duck break. <laughs> I know. It's like you just, you see me just kind of go all, and, oh, then, <laughs> and then it says right there on the screen, pay attention. The duck is already gone. I know. And that's, that's because I was missed typing and then I hit mm. enter and then I seen that and it was like sunny beaches. You don't have enough to drink is your problem. You need a that, nice cold beer with a shot of whiskey in it. Oh. We we call that where I'm from a boiler maker. Ah. I don't have a beer. That's right. I don't have any with whiskey. Shot, well, then beginners are welcome. <laughs> oh, hey. Torque Testicle is starting a flash drive. You know, that's a little thing you plug into a computer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's, boy, you better raise a lot of money, man. I'm I'm getting expensive. <laughs> a flash drive. Oh, shit, I just thought of that. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I got to check and see if anybody is paying attention over here on Fakey Book real quick. Um, no, they're just, they're just going. Oh! Harmonica, harmonica. And for your musical interlude, we have Flash, who's very good at blowing on a harmonica. Well, don't <laughs> tell my wife that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's called licking a harp in the business, if you really need to know, little missy. Licking you a harp? Blow on a harp. Yeah, it's called licking a harp. Oh. By God and country. That's okay. right. I need a moment. 
<laughs> Boy, did that change the direction she was going in. <laughs> Breaks. So, okay. Miss, Miss Mary, are um, you going to say to the I'm, nice RLM crowd, everybody except for that n- annoying wannabe Nazi house guy that I don't care for today. Oh. I no, will say hey to him real fine. fast, but I got to I got to do cuz I came over here to check fakey book and nobody's paying attention, but I do I have this up it. there. The greatest fear in the world is opinions of others. The moment you are unafraid of the crowd, you are no longer a sheep. <laughs> you become uh, a lion. Roar. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Flash huh? is a little thing you plug into a computer? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I hope my wife doesn't read any of this. <laughs> this is going This is going to be the worst sort table ever. So is um No, that wasn't me blowing it. Although I'm probably blowing it right now, but <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you can lead a horse to water. But Graham, Graham's mind will just go down hey! in the gutter. Um, it left. Oh, I'm such a happy. Oh, person. hey, I like that. Kill them all and let God sort them out. Religion utter. <laughs> Is that like a nutter nutter butter peanut butter sandwich cookie? Is that what that's like? I have no idea. Okay, I don't either. Okay, so let me go see. Over here in the corner pocket, sock puppets over here, oh. and so is kind one. And fluke, let me know that I befriended a duck over here, but but sock beat me to it over in the RLM. I do a pouty poo face. Grimmy's yeah, over here up. in the uh, freaking 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 freedoms network. Wee hoo! Hippity hop. How about you get the fuck off my property? I like that. That's a sign that Grimmy shared over here on the effing site. I like that. Mental pancakes is over here as well. Mental, Yay. Mental! cakes, cakes. We have cakes. Okay, don't go dirty. I I almost went dirty with that one too, but <laughs> almost really after all these years, almost. <laughs> it's like almost pregnant, isn't it? Mm. You wonder why you're not married. Yeah, because it's almost. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's almost right. <laughs> it's, it's almost wet. <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> yeah. The almost life. <laughs> well, at least I don't have to worry about being almost pregnant again. So there you go. That works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for the gutter, my mind would be lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I do uh, like the gutter. Oh, uh-oh. you can <laughs> you can lead whores to water. <laughs> that's see, uh-oh. that's it's only in the gutter, Grim. Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Follow the money. Yeah, like oh. everybody else. Oh. I mean, they're honest about it. That's true. they so honest. They kiss you before they fuck you. Oh, hey. And then they say, money, please. No, actually, I think they <laughs> say money, please, first. Uh, first, up front. Yeah, yeah. give up me, give me you your money, that? please. That's a song. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, that's. Over here in the RLM. Woo woo! We have Barman right up top. Look like Vinny just fell out. Vinny fell out. Uh, Barman's right up top, closely followed by Cowboy Tech, who was hearing pleasant Cowboy voices Tech. at one time, but now he's thinking, who the hell is this crazy woman? No, we got a Cowboy Tech, though. Yes, we do. We have a Cowboy Tech, and he's the, he's the most splendiferous cowboy in the whole wide world. Sometimes sex? Really? Oh, well... Okay, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> well, seeing as how Cakes said that, you know, there is a song, Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. <laughs> cowboy, hon, you need to use that line next time, sweetie. Um, uh-huh. Yeah. Or redneck propaganda to sway the American mind away from the truth. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I also see Grimner is in here. Hey, Grimmy. How you doing? And I also see the lovely Moose Girl. They were on the Freakers Ball last night, but I didn't listen because I was on the phone. <sighs> oh, Ms. Moose, how are you on yep. this fine Saturday? Zero one zero seven two zero 
one seven to be exact. Oh, hey, you done good. And hey, I think I even did that on the. I changed that last night, so I wouldn't have to worry about it this morning. And I guess that's a good thing, because yeah, yeah, I was playing out in the garage and lost track this of time. This is a dork announcement. Flash dork announcement. All the good months of the year start with the word Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Torque Testicle, where are you going to take that bath? I don't want to know. I uh, don't want to know. I <laughs> I also see the lovely uh-huh. Kate is here. Hey there, Kate. How you doing? And Alias D, or uh, Alias, however. D, I'm doing the hand yeah. signals today, just yeah. in case Flash can't. <laughs> yeah. Score! <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, nice. Asmo is here too. And Asmo. the lovely Beth Z. And looky Beth there. Z. Yeah, Chalsa Denis is here. There's no O yeah. going on. Um, yeah, that, that one too. That's, that's the one. Yeah, hello. Oh, yeah. hey. Uh, Sock Puppet just corrected me. It's supposed to be Save uh, the Whores for the Cowboys. Ah, okay. Moving along. I also see a double dip in a Chloe going on here. As well as... Um, oh, Cowboy's going to... Chloe! <laughs> <laughs> They're having... Ah, uh, man, I started something. Um, July! There you go. <laughs> July! <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Is that a, not irony... You say it for a fucking month, and do any of you goyums think about it? No. no. you got to have one of those Jews bring it to your attention. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the annual July <laughs> festival. <laughs> it is. A, Bend over. Wow. This is going to hurt. <laughs> hey, Dakota. How you doing? <laughs> I also see Flash Dork and Graham's Dork as well. We're on the radio and we're in the chat too. And oh, good lord, it could be hello, scary. Uh, how um, are hello. How are, uh, how are ya? Um, uh, ooh, Java, 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 Java. I had plenty of Java this morning. I also see JJ's is in the house. JJ's is in the house. Oh, a Jew with a small dick. Ask Flash. <laughs> Well, well no. Ask ask my wife. She'll tell you. Is that what they mean by pinprick? <laughs> I have I, talk to Zergle about it sometime. It's on her. I don't. I don't really care. It's you on her. Well, I don't think it's very you. small if it's on her because I don't see her in the room. So, well, <sighs> it's shutting you up. Don't let it bother you. <laughs> <laughs> I but also hear you huh? recite the Constitution. Oh, never mind. No, I see P. Bunyan. I see London, I see France, I see P. Bunyan. (laughs) (laughs) And looky, RLM Fluke, the Vanna White to barman. I'm sure Fluke is probably going, what the fuck? Rob Works is here. Do you know? Just another thought. Uh, What? Another thought? Oh, that hurts. Fluke is just another thought. Ah. Rob Works! Okay, let me see here. Uh, Say something again, Flash. Uh, 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 I interrupted you. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, see, everybody, the reason why Flash's volume is so low is because he moves his mic way up and then he yells. That's... Because it's funny! <laughs> That's why you fucking wackadoodles! <laughs> Did I say that out loud, or was I thinking again? <laughs> no, <laughs> you said that out loud. Um, well, you know, you got to be kind of crazy to hang around on social sites in the first place. Yeah. Kind of puts the kibosh on the whole point of being social. Hey, I could talk to people and not have to look at them. Ha ha! <laughs> 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 Joke's on them. I'm a rather handsome fella. <laughs> Right, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I also see Rob Works is here, and he just fired up that bubbler and passed it around again. Bubbles! Thank you. Oh, bubbles. Hi, Bubbles. Hi, my <laughs> name's Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> 
Hey, Phantom. <laughs> oh, shit. They're getting the ducks drunk again. <laughs> Oh, good Lord. Phantom is here, as well as BTC Bob, the number one of the Bob triplets. And Dimma is in the house as well. Three Bobs and a Dimma. Yeah, and we got a Dorka line. Dorka Lynn. Dorka Lynn line. Dorka Lynn. I wonder if she's any relation to Loretta Lynn. Take a number and dork a line. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) And we got some dorks cakes here in the house too, and I think they're I, mighty tasty. I know him. He's he's a very cakey kind of character. <laughs> but I have the burnt waffles, and he does not. Ah, there you go. All right. I see Flash Droid is here too. Is that your evil twin? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Fleet is here as well. And looky there, Frumpy. <laughs> I am Becky is here. Hey, Hi, I am Becky. Hey, how you doing? And Jehovah One, who has decided to make it a little bit breezy, but not damp outside. So hopefully getting my mower ready huh? so I can mow. <laughs> Yay. I know y'all are going to be really sick and tired of hearing about me mow. <laughs> uh, it's oh, yeah. July. Get used to hearing about her Mo, <laughs> get it? <laughs> Mo. <laughs> it's all tied to the big J. I'm telling you, fuckers. <laughs> Just give in now while you got a choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a choice. Give in or give in now. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> Juana Taco is here, and you know oh. what? I did have tamales last night. They were shredded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does yummy. I also see so, Kozu. Kozu. Uh huh. And mmm, bot. I keep doing that one. You know, uh, wussy. Uh, Nens- listened to me do that before. No, I ain't doing it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like it. Ah. And, you know, we come from that place where you fail. You just stop doing that and try something different because oh. you ain't good at that. When you suck at something. And you don't want to suck something, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they say suck at it because, hey, maybe you should find another hobby. Oh, okay. I also see Nensan Dubois is in the house as well as Nensan North Dubois. Force. North Force! I'm still trying to. No, wind is out of the. Wind's out of the south, so the North Force is sucking right now. Uh, pon 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 sauce is in the house as well as <laughs> the lovely rain. <laughs> we and sock puppet who's very concerned that you have a sock over your mic. What he's is just mm, jealous. he's quite envious of my sock. He's all don't let it bother you, Miss Mary. <laughs> Graham's dork has a mo has mo to do. That's right. I have mo to do. Then you can shake a stick at. Just or go to the else. polls. Just go to the polls and vote. That's all I can ask of you. Do that. But you must color inside the lines, or punch the little hole. But don't leave Chad hanging because Chad didn't do anything to you. Or push apparently, a button. I'm very good appara- at pushing buttons. Apparently, somebody has read the fine print. I did. I got out my cheaters. To do that, I don't have them anywhere near me though, so I can't read it now. Yeah, cheater, cheater. Ah, uh, did I? Yeah, I said rain. I said sock puppet. Stats Bob and Tip Bob. Uh, tip Bob. The last. Yeah, the Bobsy triplets, and there's what? that guy with that twisted nut, torque testicle. Torque testicle. <laughs> and to round out the crew, the one, the only, the Vil E underscore. And damn it, I'm over time, over time, Vil over time. E underscore. Yes, <laughs> he was a uh, he was a failed gynecologist from Leeds, I believe. Yes, I heard about him. He should have used gloves. <laughs> Oh, did he sign up for gynecology and wound up doing proctology? And he seemed to get himself in a lot of trouble when he was using the chicken and the snake instead of the gloves. Oh, ah. But he did say it kept his hands mess free. (laughs) (laughs) No 
chiclets these fingers my friend <laughs> oh <laughs> Ew. wait a Ew. minute who's chad <laughs> wow rob works chad's the guy off. that's all 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 that too chad's the guy that's get gets left hanging all the time Mm. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea what that means. Don't even think I care. Anyway, so. Oh, you don't remember the whole hanging Chad incident in Florida? Dun, dun, dun. No, I haven't lived in Florida since the early 90s. Well, so, it, was, it was when Bushels won mm. over uh, Gory. Oh, he didn't win over anything. Come on, please. Oh, Don't that's what they said, and they said are. it was because all them oh, hanging chads. I know what. Which yeah, I... these are the. What? These are the same people that bring you death and taxes. Come on, I mean de <laughs> death and taxes. Figure it out. Do the math. It's not hard. Oh. You don't need a calculator to figure out. You've been reamed. No, usually you can tell that by the way you walk. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> Tort is really? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not the only one that doesn't care for Mr. Um, Hansible. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. So, what are we going to talk about today? Ever met everything and nothing like usual. Wow. Oh, what do you got cool. on your mind? Huh? Huh? Uh, huh? I don't. I just really like this hippity hop guy that's telling you to get the fuck off my property. It's a little frog oh, with a, with the rifle. Well, uh, see, I don't know. I I don't so much subscribe to that whole mentality because the problem is we're all crowded in such small places that it makes people think they need more room than they need. Ah, yes, Rob works. I have met a Chad. I actually work with a Chad. Uh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> that made me Chad. <laughs> work with a Chad. Hey, wait a minute. I think I've been I think something's wrong here. I don't I don't like this Chad guy already. I haven't even met him. What's he one of those pink lunged voting register everything gun owner wish I had more victims kind of guy? No, Chad is one of those kind of guys that he had a motorcycle accident years and years ago and so Chad is very good at uh, washing cars. Wow. And we'll just there's, leave there's it a at claim that. To fame. Yeah, because you know how much better a car runs when it's clean on the outside. <laughs> oh, but he he details him, bad boys. I tell you what, when when <laughs> Chad does a detail uh, job, you know you've been detailed. <laughs> wow. Detailed. And then one, one more time, more knowledge than I ever intended to gather at one time. <laughs> but you're at the dork table, and therefore such things happen. So I could forget these things as, as easily as I heard them? You should be able to. Just go all etch-a-sketch with your brain. Wow. Hey, you know what? La last week, I, I think I upset people on the dark table with my opinions. Did you really? And yeah. so, So do you really give a shit about other people's opinions? No. So you need to roar then because you are well, no longer it, a lamb. You are a roar. It helps to know what the fucking opinion is. Oh. If you go with the standard modern day uh, slang version of opinion, then it matters. If you understand what it truly is, it doesn't fucking hold any value. Then it doesn't make any difference. Oh. It's like being right or wrong in a two person argument. It ain't going to happen. You're both right. That's why you're fighting. Because ah. when you're wrong, you don't know you're wrong. You think you're right. There you go. How easy could this possibly be? I don't know. How easy and, can it possibly be? Well, do you realize there is an equal and exact amount of right and wrong in every action you take? No matter what society says about it. Wow. When you squash that fly's butt against the wall, are you not depriving another insect of a meal? Maybe that other insect that eats the fly doesn't like his fry tar his fly tartar. He wants it fresh. <laughs> <laughs> fly tartar is like, hey, wait a minute. And then what do you do? You scoop the fly up and you throw it in the garbage can anyway. What insect's gonna get into your garbage to find the fly tartar? 
See, and I usually try and catch the flies when they're mid. Mm. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. Stop. I already got got the visual. <laughs> how, how do I not? How do I not see two flies fucking in midair? Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> Rerun, but, rerun. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> but, you Chase know, when me. you get them like that, at least they're coming and going at the they're, same time. <laughs> they're happy for a moment. Yes. Well, maybe not. What if, what if the other one, what if one of them's raping the other fly? <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm thinking that's what the flies, rapture is. But what if those two flies doing it in midair through the, <laughs> maybe that's an act of rape in the fly world. That might be. Because people are watching. Ah, who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But honey, but honey well, I don't. Ah, shut up. I'm not finished yet. <laughs> and now, see, uh, therefore, uh, I was doing a good deed because I stopped it. Oh. Unfortunately, there was some collateral damage and they both died. But you know, well, it happens. Life does that. You know, life kills things. Yes, and you know does. what? My... my uh, RLM window is flip flopping around all over the place. I can't seem to. Oh, I got booted off the RLM. Uh oh. Country. Yep. Uh oh. Somebody sullied my good name. Oh my no, God. I think I'm. Wait a minute. No, I'm. I'm upstairs on the Wi-Fi, right? So I changed rooms to experiment and see if maybe I'd have a better signal up here on the Wi-Fi. Uh huh. Because uh, I don't work downstairs where I'm comfortable. And now I've got all these computer things happening. So I can't read the chat. You're going to have to read it to me. Oh, because I, I see Flash Dork and Flash Droid are both on here. Yeah, but my computer's just having a freaking meltdown. Ah. Here, let me, cl let me close a movie I was watching. That'll probably help. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I okay. I was having a dork moment. I was watching the damn um, Kung Fu episode one, year one, episode ten. And I forgot to turn it off, so it was running behind everything else. Ah, hoa, grasshopper. I know. Oh, uh, there's some really good stuff in those shows, though. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. And, and it's, a lot of it is really about not being a violent fucking idiot when you can avoid not being one. But it's a lot of work. <sighs> wow. Let yeah. me tell you, Miss Murray, you might not know this, but are you sitting down? Yes, I am. <sighs> Have you got a cold beverage in front of you? Yes, I do. Put it down because you're going to spit. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you might not know this about people. What's that? You don't give a shit about each other. I try not to give shit because it, mm. it gets on my fingers. I was being, uh, I was using a metaphor there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not so much, hey, let me give you some shit so that you can feel like shit, but hey, Shit is a relative term for stuff. Ah, Things that yeah. happen. Episodes. Well, promise. it's like Carlin right. says. My stuff is stuff where your stuff is shit. I know, huh? Isn't that sad? Uh-huh. We all got to compete about the same second-rate fucking crap that everybody has. Like anybody's second-rate crap is better than anybody else's second-rate crap. No, it's all second-rate crap. Get used to it. Ah. Yeah, ah. you didn't know that. Well, you uh, know why it's second-rate crap, don't you? Because if yeah. somebody's owned it, it's second-hand. Well, so it's al it already is, done been used. Yeah, but a lot of it is this free market crap that we're fed so that monopolies can control what we buy and use. Ah, okay. I just and, saw but, Flash Dork just finally dropped yeah. out. And what they do is they sell us inferior versions of necessities that we cannot live without. And then everything that's made off that is a second-rate crap. So ah. just because you, you pay $50 for a meal in a restaurant doesn't mean you're getting any be anything better. You just got told you are. It's called advertising. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Grimmy says that uh, doing nothing does require a lot of effort, which I've read enough Beetle Bailey cartoons to, to know yeah. that he goes through an awful lot of work to avoid work. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's not as easy to do as it looks. Yeah. Oh, that that hey, there's a topic for you. Did you did you know that I'm a leech? Are you really? Well, you know you are Jew. 
Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I had somebody bring it to my attention on the RLNM the other morning. Ah. That, in his opinion, so I asked him, how much money is it you send me every month? You know, what I, What am I taking from you that I'm a leech? So that kind of ended it. So whenever you call him out on his bullshit, he just dumps it and goes and finds another lie to talk about. Ah. And I'm not the only one that's noticed this. Ah. But, man... Oi, it's a lot of work to get rid of him. Hmm. Oi. And then he comes back. He's like one of those flies fucking across the room. You don't know whether to swat them or take their picture. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but no, I'm not going to do none of this fly porno crap. Come on, put this on YouTube and get rich. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> what? What? Fly porn. Hey, you hey. know, I can make a really stupid ass movie. And then put it on there and go, fly porn, and I'll bet you're, you I'd get yeah. a bazillion hits. Yeah, you're in good company, too, because that's about what it is on the Internet now. Anything to shock people, you know? Uh, yeah. Every, every day I see um, Trumple's latest um, end of the world link. I yeah. don't watch them, but I know they're there because I read the labels. Yeah. But, well, I mean, yeah, every it's the same. How many fucking years have we been listening to this story? And they still convince people it's all news. Yeah, the news. names were changed to protect the guilty. Well, how many people do the cops have to kill before the public really really understands the cops aren't there to, to protect you from, from each other? They're there to protect the rich from you yeah and you know what in town um mm. they don't even have the insignias on the police vehicles anymore apparently they are being all covert uh, uh, uh. and undercover you know so That's it don't even people. it don't even say to serve and protect or even city yeah. of or county and that of. in itself there's laws unless of course they've changed them to adopt to this new crap they're doing well it's a rigged game yeah you enjoy it. I don't. I I'm don't enjoy far... it. Uh, you don't? No. Why not? Because I'm kind of a party pooper like that. It's like, really? Seriously? Wow. I don't like this game, so I'm just going to go home. Wow. I I just avoided the whole game. Just mm -hmm. right there in front of everybody, and nobody ever did anything about it. For about, what, from, say, 87 to 2011. Ah. Yeah, and I had been stopped by police for the first few years a couple of times, maybe three times, but nothing ever came of it. They didn't go corporate until after 9-11. Ah, well, yeah, with that whole homeland security, that doesn't ring from Nazism, does it? Uh, so welcome back, Sock. Yeah, oh, we're getting bumped and bopped all over the place as a group. Yeah, yeah but you're back. For your, yeah, that protect. Oh, to, I, it's for. It's like when my old man used to smack me. As for your own good. No, it ain't. It's for your own good. Because yeah. if I got to you first, you'd be mad at me. <laughs> so, so, you know, take the first shot. That's what that lesson taught me. Don't never wait for somebody to smack you. That's stupid. Thanks, Pop. <laughs> What? You didn't find that amusing? I thought it was hysterical. Uh, I, I, I'm just kind of sitting here going, wow. Did they have a handbook back then or what? Okay. I did not turn no. the volume down. No, they just used their hands back then. Well, yes, they did do that. All that, all that good thinking shit didn't really take hold until the se late 70s. You know, something happened when the... Uh, when the Reagan administration finally got their greasy, grubby, government, goopy, crappy fucking hands all over the education system, that's what totaled it. Because it was on its way out until the, about 1980, but that was the end of it was when the Fed grabbed it. Said, we're going to show you how to teach the children properly now, you idiots. Ah. <laughs> Look what they... Look, was that an improvement beyond your wildest dreams? Or is it just me? Uh, well, depends on if you let it qualify or you're saying including nightmares and dreams. And then hey, it's... Know, wow. 
Have you ever noticed there's no opt out in a free society? I know, it's isn't that crazy? As, it's just as restrictive and controlling as a communist state or a kingdom state or a state state. It's all the same fucking bullshit, no matter how you slice it. But what they do is they rub your ego bones so that you'll feel better than the next idiot that's a slave to his government. Oh yeah! Oh, they've been doing it for a while. You want to? Yeah. You want to know something that really rubbed my ego bone? What, <laughs> what, what's his What's his name? Start with. Give me a letter, no. and I'll see if I can't guess his name. No. Wah, 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 wah. Okay. I I just checked over here on Fakey Book because I got a notification from my daughter and. And this hey, little daughter. thing popped up, and it said, "Your stripper name is the color of your underwear and the thing that you last ate." <laughs> Dude, tacos. Wow. No, lavender oh, shredded wheat. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's almost as good as nude tacos, I suppose. <laughs> lavender shredded wheat. Okay. And so, I guess I was I was just uh, making a, a a passing a judgment. On the social butterflies of the internet world. You know? Oh. Well, I just cannot feel that I'm forced to do things and then do them. When I feel that I'm forced to do things, that's when I won't do them the most. Uh, well, yeah. I always wonder, why, if it's such a wonderful idea, why are you forcing mm -hmm. me at gunpoint or with threat of imprisonment? Well, yeah, see, and that threat works on 90, what, 99% of the population will go, nah, I'm afraid of you. And then there's 1% that goes, nah, I don't think so. Let's see if you'll really shoot. <laughs> ah. But they got a good track record now. Back in my day, they, eh, it was 50-50. You could get away with it. Now they shoot first and then worry about it in court when they're getting acquitted. Ah. Yeah. Did you know that it's not even legal to for the the juries to know they have jury rights? I was reading that there on the R L and M just maybe a week or two back. Ah. Yeah, the judges will go fucking insane if the jury knows what they're capable of doing. Because they want control. Control is the word, man. It's terrible. Ah. Hey, did any of you guys click on that link that Cowboy Tech shared? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, what? Sock puppet. No, no. See, looking for an opt-out is not what the fuck I said in the first place. I said, I made a point of, there is no opt-out option. That's that's not looking for anything or recognizing. You, how do you not recognize you? You got people pointing guns at you with badges on, telling you to give them fucking money. That's the reality I left. You know? Out, I found an opt-out here that I could not find at home. Ah. You want to know what that is? Well, it's the same thing the people that are successful at home use. Well, you don't you don't have a bank account, you don't sign anything. Nope, 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 no. No? That's nope, that's not even it. No se habla ingleso, signore. Ah. Yeah, when you don't even speak the fucking language, you don't even attract anybody to, to enforce anything on you. They're just glad you pass them by one because they don't have to talk to you that way. How is a Danish cop going to force me to do anything? He doesn't even have a gun. Ah, well, that's true. That is so, true. So, wow. And, you know, and they're nice guys. They're not like American cops. They're more like Scottish cops or English cops. How, and not the English today. The ones when I was in England in the 90s. They were nice. Ah. Yeah, and friendly and helpful. And they, even when I had long hair and I was young, they called me sir. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. At first it was scary. I thought, uh-oh, what are they going to do to me? And then they left. And I went, holy shit, these people are decent. Wonder what's wrong with them. <laughs> Mm. Haven't they ever seen America's Most Wanted? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> I look like a lot of those guys, too. Oh, yeah. hey. Yeah, 
They're all short, long-haired, crazy people that look like me. Oh. Oh. Hmm. hmm. I'll have to remember oh, that. Come on. You know Sock. all of those all of those darn uh, um but Sock, I'm having fun because I, I miss I miss Hansel. And I saw you there. I saw you standing there and I thought, ah, let's play with Sock Puppet. That's all. Ah. But still, I really think that the uh the societies that we participate in, either by hostage or by willingness, th- neither one of them gives you the opt out option to not participate. I think that would just make the plain, playing field more fair. You know? Everything's done through enforcement. Well, yeah. And threat. Threat of this. Threat of that is not any form of freedom in my reality. Maybe in yours. I don't know. I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to judge me. And I'm mm. gonna I'm gonna change the subject because I'm sitting over oh, here looking okay. at I'm looking at these names over here and I'm thinking there's a really good one. <laughs> so someone's name is Black Chimichanga. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you a quick story while I got you on here on the internet, on the radio. Okay. A couple of weeks ago, my wife sent you this link, and she was giggling about it, and I thought it was funny, and you wouldn't read it. And we went, we looked at each other with our sad little dark faces and said, oh, she wouldn't read it. So, now, I'm going to torture you with my memory of what that link was about. (laughs) But I think I did read it. Mm. No. Or I didn't anyway, didn't read it on the radio? No, no, you think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, oh. I, I'm kind of playing with you, but I'm going to... I did You're going to give me shit. What, okay. No, I'm going to tell you about this link that I thought was hysterical. Was okay. Little Missy. Okay. Whoa. Go no, for it. What, ha- what happens is a, an older gentleman, say my age, goes mm-hmm. into a bank and robs the bank. Give me your money. This is a hold up. Blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. And then after he robs the bank, he sits down and waits for the police to come and get him and arrest him and take him to, to jail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I remember that one. Yeah. She said, well, okay. She said, and I never heard you read it. So maybe I'm listening to my wife tell a story. But what happened is, is uh, he goes to, to court and the judge gives him time at home as a punishment. Yeah, I did talk about that. And Did I said, is, yeah, show. and I said, isn't that cruel and unusual punishment? Whoa, she told me a story. I'm well, so maybe she now. didn't hear it because I didn't really read the link because I think ah. I talked about I had read it a few months prior. But isn't that too much, though, to rob a bank, to go to prison and get a judge that makes you go home to your wife as your punishment? Yeah. See, and I, I think I read that <laughs> link when when it first happened. But Cirque's was kind of a a follow-up, and so I did the little (gasps) follow-up bit on it. Yeah, and I thought, wow, that Uh, that is cruel and unusual punishment. We just wasted a hell of a joke. We could add so much fun with that. Yeah, but isn't isn't that just cruel? I mean, you're doing something so you can get away from, and then that's part of the... Of course, that's what my mother was really good at, too. You know, so maybe he went to the (laughs) same school of discipline that my mother went to. Yeah, it, it does take quite a bit of character to rob a bank so that you can go to prison to get away from your wife. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't I, at least he didn't shoot her. You know, well, it could have been worse. Yeah. You know, it was planning. And on the plus side, he would have gotten three hots and a cot, possibly. <laughs> a you little know? more than that, but you know, well, yeah. Uh, prison. Prison, well, not county jail. <laughs> it's a little yeah. different there. Well, yeah, yeah, they they don't give you all of the details in the brochure, you know. So. No, but enough people have come, come and gone and come out to tell you about what a wonderful stay it is. Yes. And you know what? I don't, I hate to tell you this, but I, I don't think that like Hillary Clinton or Henry Kissinger, or Bill Clinton, Obama, or Trump, or any of those cunts are ever in my lifetime gonna get one day of what they've given us oh no and and wishing them the gray bar hilton i got i got a suggestion for all the people out there in happy land 
that think so much of, oh, punish him with prison. I think that you should spend a week in prison to be able to make that comment. I think it's one of those hands-on experiences that a person should endure before they wish it on the next poor fuck based on stories they get from the MSM about what the guy did or did not do. Because most of the time, in my experience, what we get told is bullshit. So, and I've been locked up a few times over my life, short periods of time. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you from the experience that I got, it, nah, that's what, if you really want to punish somebody, strip the rich man of his wealth and put him on the street for 30 days with nobody can help you. You have to do it all by yourself and you're monitored to make sure you don't cheat. Ooh, have you, would be have you seen that, that short film of, uh, you know, when you screw up, they, uh, make mm -hmm. you invisible. They basically put a, uh, yeah, like a mark on your, zone. yeah, yeah. That Oh, called uh, Seeing the Invisible Man on the Twilight Zone. Yeah, wow. Yeah. That was a... Wow. And in the beginning, he's, oh, I can do a year of being ignored with no problem. Ah. And six months into it, he's begging strangers to talk to him. Yeah. Because that is really... See, that's what I mean. We're so lied to about how life should and shouldn't be that we believe the garbage... And haven't got very much of a clue of what the truth truly is. We're not mean and nasty. We're just people. We're reacting to the shit that we see and hear and feel. And it's not the same for everybody. No, it's not. It's just no, I'm, it sure ain't. Yeah, no. Nothing is the same for everybody. But, but I've heard you over, and I understand Hillary should be punished for what she's done. I understand that completely. I don't think prison especially at their ages. I think what would really punish them would be 30 days in the street with no fucking help monitored 24 hours a day. You go sleep in an alley somewhere under a cardboard box, you fucking bitch. Go eat out of a trash can. Ooh, that would be. That would be. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what they want for us. And what I want as a punishment for them is for them to enjoy what they so freely give us. Wow. That's a good one. Well, I like that. Jail, all jail does is makes a guy meaner and learn more shit. And it's the same with women now. Women have changed. Women aren't so docile and feminine anymore. Women want to fight with you and get in your face and do shit. Well, yeah, that's and that then, whole feminazi shit. Well, maybe so, but it's 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 manufactured by society, and we as people follow the rules and do the shit we're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. It's not good for any of us. It's see, I mean, I'm not going to tell you you don't have a right to want her to suffer. Blah blah blah. I'm just um, giving you my input on how I feel suffering would would really teach her a lesson. Where being locked up in a prison, so what? Yeah. She's already locked up in one of those. Everybody knows her business. She can't move without security. Tra la la la. That's prison to me. But, yeah, yeah, that is. Um, That's that was one of those. I think it was a couple of years ago talking about Dangleberry, and really yeah. seriously, he's just in a mobile prison. I mean, he's he's yeah, enclosed amongst people that really yeah. don't want to protect him, but it's part of their job to protect him. And then he's in this iron box on wheels and then he lives in this and he's in a constant state of fear which has got to be stressful as hell and their kids mm. will never ever ever mm. know anything different from that well and it's the illusion that this guy's making decisions for or against the good of the people in the first place he's not deciding anything he's doing what he's told by his owners, just like the rest of us. Yeah, and walking around with a great big target on his back and his front. Okay, right. And when you go against the grain, as I have and continue, continue to do, I draw out the, the hands crowd, you know, that have preconceived notions based on their own life about me when I didn't live their life or nothing close to it. But what the, I think what bothers them the most is that I refuse to respect 
their education that I think was a bunch of crap. Hi, I am Becky. You know, when you were talking about all that Hansel stuff and everything, the song that popped in my head was, Don't give me no lines and keep your Hansel to yourself. (laughs) Ouch. (laughs) I see. I am Becky is chiming in in the chat. Hey, lady. It's been a long time since I've seen you. You've been doing a lot of photography there, Becky? She can type, I think, and say yes or no. Yeah. Because I see Grimner saying hey to Becky. No, oh, she said hey to us. Hello. Yeah. See, I said hello for like four times. Yeah, there you go. There you go. This red label stuff is good. <laughs> and you know, last night I really, really thought I needed a drink. But then I had one of those moments of um, Hawkeye Pierce from MASH. Mm-hmm. I really need a drink. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I'll have one when I want one. Ah. Ah. Mm-hmm. See, there's yeah. a there's a big difference there. And so I didn't have an adult beverage when I got done. But, you know, I was busy with other well, things. It's, so. it, it's for you to decide, too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So eh. I don't have a problem with personal choice when somebody's actually making one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just don't consider voting for Trump or Hillary a personal choice. I think it's just stupid. But I think picking up or not picking up a drink to solve a problem, that could be a personal choice. Yes, it could be. You know why I I like to drink when I'm on the radio? Why? Because it brings the green out of your eyes. Oh, hey. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) I thought you'd know why. It's a mystery to me. Ah. Hmm. Um. Oh Lord. Okay, hmm. I'm gonna have to watch a video later from uh, Ooh, Family Feud, uh, where the families things. have to answer the question: Name something that dries up when it gets old. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I ain't saying anything. <laughs> Make it wet, number one. <laughs> Do it yourself, Baldy. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> you know <laughs> the unspoken the unspoken things on Star Trek. You ever notice in Star Trek nobody ever has to go to the bathroom no matter what planet they're on? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Not I one know. fucking person in all these years of Star Trek, five different kinds of Star Trek, fifty thousand planets, nobody's ever had to use a the toilet. They've had to fuck a couple times. But not one of them ever had to take a pee. Or do a I'm number a, two. I'm a, I'm a little suspicious. <laughs> I know. I don't think they're real. It's not? Wait a minute. You mean it wasn't a travel brochure? <laughs> <I could get. laughs> wow. Wow, that's cool, Sock. Damn. Hey, you know what would be kind of fun is to make somebody like a salad with magic mushrooms in it. And when the mushrooms took effect, don't tell them they ate them, and then pretend to beam them out of there. <laughs> and, and get everybody at, at the place that's with you to go along with it. And pretend that they're not there? Yeah. Beam, beam them to so-and-so and just continue the night like they're gone. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, beam them back again. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> but, I mean, little things that people don't think about, right? You know what? I'll tell you, here's one of the the most bizarre things about movies that never seems to capture the public eye in any way, right? Is murder after murder after murder. They've killed people in every possible way you can imagine on TV and movies, right? You ever see anybody shit their self when they get killed on TV? No. Why not? I don't know, but that is kind of weird. Because, yeah, no, the the, totally the body just releases. It evacuates. Yeah. You would think that, man, Hollywood found, find a way to capitalize off that, sell toilet paper or something. Yeah. But no. No, see, that's what I mean. They glamorize the, the um, insane and the fucking bizarre and make it normal when it's really not like that. And if you ever saw what they're, you know, 
the performance they're pretending to do compared to what it really is, you wouldn't be entertained. No. Mm -hmm. My personal favorite is the girl fights where these girls fight for 20 minutes, not a bruise, not a cut, not a, not a drop of sweat, not a hair out of place. <laughs> I know. <laughs> wow. Have you ever seen a real girl fight? Those girls are mean. Yes, wow. I have. I, I saw a girl fight one time, and one girl wanted to show the other girl's boobs to everybody. Uh-oh. Boobs! Yeah. She was trying to take off her shirt to embarrass her in front of her peers. So is that is that why guys root on cat fights? Because every time I see a video of a cat fight or something, yeah. it's like yeah. all the guys are going, Dude! 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 Cat fight! Cat fight! And I'm like... <laughs> Why isn't someone stepping in there and, and pulling them apart? The hell. <laughs> <laughs> dead, dead people don't wipe. Uh, Go on, Graham. I did not, I did not know that. <laughs> no, I, all I'm saying is, is just they make these things attractive through film and entertainment when they're really not. And if they showed you the what it really looked like, whoa, it's bad. You know, or like they'll have a drowning victim come up after three days underwater, and it's it looks like they just fell in. Yeah. No, stick a stick a ham underwater for three days under thirty feet of water, and then go get it and see what that fucker looks like. Ew. You ain't gonna recognize it, <laughs> and ain't Ew. gonna smell very good neither. Ew. Mm. Yeah. I did see one really interesting killer diller film, right? Where they they go into the water to find something and they find a bunch of bodies and they're wrapped in uh, chicken wire. So the cop says to the other, why would they do that? Well, because when the body decays and the gas is expelled, then the bodies rise. The chicken wire cuts into the flesh and keeps them on the ground. <laughs> Went, wow. So you got writers out there that are really know what they're doing, but they still write the crap for the masses. Because the reality of this stuff would not get an audience. Ah. Like the dork, like the dork table, only bigger. Oh. Yeah. Can you imagine a normal person listening to me bitch at them about voting for Trump? No. Fuck. That person would have an aneurysm and their head would explode. Probably. Because they're just their their uh, belief system is just as designed for the game as mine is designed not to game. Hmm. And I'm not so sure. It's not my love of games that helps me understand what a rigged game our daily life truly is. Well, that, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I was going to mm. say that's why I try not to play along, but yeah, I do. I well, play along. I but... try not to as well, Mary, but fuck, for fuck's sake. Outside of living on a mountaintop chasing flies for <laughs> entertainment, what are you going to do with yourself to stay out of the game? How? I can't find a way. There's no fucking way. So, you know what I did? What? Should I should I come clean on the, on the internet? Did, on you, the, did you change the rules to suit yourself? Fuck yeah. There you go. How did you know? Are you psychic? I'm psychotic like that. Are you eating my mind? It's scary, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think I got the idea from Hans. Oh, see? Yeah. Well, see, Hans has been calling me all these terrible names because I don't work, you know, and I don't have any physical um, way to prove... Uh, that I'm self-supporting in this world and all that kind of crap that people care about. So anyway, what happened is my brother got himself a few bucks. Uh-huh. And I said, hey, now that you're rich, why don't you support me? And he said, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you going to at least put up a fight or something? And he said, no, I got I got something I'm cooking up for you for later. And I went, wow. So... And then when I told him about my good friend Hansel on the internet, he says, wow, this guy has no idea who you are, does he? <laughs> 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 you know, it's, 
Well, when you when you tell people things on, say, for example, on an internet site, there's also things you're not telling them as well. Oh yeah. And oh, yeah. some people are only tuned into the one side of the story, and they're not capable of imagination to take them where book learning took them. Yeah. What was a that? Book, book learning tends to make a person have very uh, narrow guidelines to judge life by, where an experienced human being that's lived a life, like some of my peers on the site, like, say, oh, I would say Rob Works and Cowboy Tech and Becky, Sock Puppet, and I don't see nobody else there. Hey, Torque Testicles proven itself to be quite the entertaining young piece of work. Ah. We'll join him. Yeah, but, wow. Our similarities are more important than our differences. Yes. Is what I'm trying to say. And that is the glue that gets you through the shit times. Uh-huh. So, because I noticed most of the people I just named don't really have bad times. They have times where, oh, the money's not flowing so good, or this ain't going my way so so much as I'd wa- want it to, but not a bunch of complaining whiners and, oh, I wish so-and-so would go to prison and die and all that kind of crap. Yeah. But living a life. Yeah. Well, it's hard to live a life because the world wants you to perform like a trained seal, not live a life. Oh, oh. Uh, hey. You've said it yourself in so many words. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And, and I try not to expect anything from you as a radio partner. You know, I just talk to you and you go, blah, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 back. And that's that. We have yep. a good time. Yes, we do. Well, how come we don't fight and bicker like a married couple? I'm curious. Uh, I've got an inquiring mind. I need to know these things. Because cause that's Circle's job. She drew the short straw. Um, in any mm-hmm. case, I want to I want to do this. I, I want to do circle. this. Uh, this, okay. this is something that I saw earlier today. It is a thousand times better to have common sense without education than to have education without common sense. That's yes. Robert G. Ingersoll. Oh, that's quite quite clever. Yeah, so I saw that and I thought, wow, I like that. I like that. And yeah, common sense will get you a hell of a lot farther than that piece of paper. And and I'm not even saying that I have common sense, but I am saying that my behavior is more towards somebody that thinks on their own than somebody that follows the the rules. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I mean, there's certain rules in life you don't need to have explained to you. There's a way to behave in a public situation. It's just the decent way. Mm-hmm. So rules and fucking all that order, order, ordering me about doesn't change what I do. You're just telling me what you're going to do to me if I do it. And if I didn't see the sign, might not think of it. Ah. Remember that episode of I Love Lucy where she's supposed to be a kleptomaniac? Yeah. And they hypnotize her and she goes back in her childhood. I was a little girl and I saw the sign that said, take one. So I took one. <laughs> and then I kept, you know, I saw a shiny penny and I saw a shiny this. I saw a little boy, but my mother made me give him back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's just like there was a lot more real in that shit than there was comedy, but. People were new to television. It was a new medium. And it was delivered in a comedic manner. And, you know, I think that's that's what Carlin was able to pull off as well. There was an awful lot of real in what Carlin put out there. Mm. But people you know, still what, giggled. What he also did was softened the, um, the, the curse word. You yeah. know... It, he put it in a light to me at an early age where I thought, wow, when you really think about it, it's a word. But I can piss people off with words that aren't even foul. <laughs> so, you know, so is is the seven words you can't say on TV yet just another distraction from shit that would take us to, oh, so that's what these people are really doing to us. Ah, oh, so when is a curse word not a curse word? Who cares? 
Who cares? They're still inoculating the kids. What was that story you were reading about the young girl, 69 inoculations in five years or 10 years or something well, in like her, that? In her 17 years, she's had... Yeah, okay. Yeah. 17. Uh, dying of fucking depression medication and all this other shit they've been putting on her. Yeah. See, that's acceptable. Well, you tell somebody you smoked a joint and like hands, they'll go off calling you every name under the sun. But if you were a victim of an inoculation, well... I'm sorry. That's just the way things are. You yeah, or you're that. faking it. Well, I don't understand how somebody could be for the government and against the government at the same time. You're either for it or you're against it. That's what they said. I heard George say it. He said, you're with us or you're against us. Yep. And the bankers wept. Yep. Well, how can you be for any of that shit and live with yourself, really? And I say this through living experience uh, in a previous relationship before I ever met my present wife. Uh, I was involved with a family that had a newborn, and the newborn didn't last four months in the hospital. Oh. Yeah, and it was a victim of all those fucking inoculate. And see, that's the the relationship I was in that I got dumped out of because I kept telling these people, all these things we do are bad for us. Don't do them. Well, they got rid of me. I'm ah. still alive. But yeah, they're free of my harping on, oh, this shit's a waste of your time. Don't do this. Yeah. Ah. How many fucking deaths do you have to have in your family before you really understand who's doing the killing? Ah, um, yeah. Huh. And it was about 2005 when this inoculation shit was really coming to a boil. And, and the hospital was like a prison to get in and out of the pediatrics. And they made it seem at the time, and this is the way I took it at the time, is they were worried about people coming in and stealing the kids. And now I know why they were worried about people coming in and stealing the kids is before they could get their fucking grubby inoculators on the kids. People didn't want their kids going through that shit because some of them weren't living. Oh. No, no news stories on CNN and Fox every night about that shit. They're too busy bitching about 9-11 in 2005. You know? Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm personally you know, got a stake in that where some areas of life, I don't give a shit. Never been in a bank robbery. Never, don't even believe any of that stuff. For all I know, it's all government, FBI staging just to keep the money supply going. Well, I do know someone that was a bank teller. When the bank got robbed. Hey. And that's that's why she's no longer a bank teller. Cool. I know. Huh? Eh? Well, see, there's so much in life that's so misrepresented through the media, right? Yeah. And you never see it yourself, so you, that's got to be what it is. Common sense. It takes over, and you go, well, they wouldn't lie to me, would they? Well, yeah. What about everything? No. And then the fight begins. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. come on. How many people do you get along with from your past that are still holding on to the state tit? That when you come around, they don't go, oh, fuck, here we go. Roll the eyes and look down the nose because that weirdo that doesn't love the state is here. Well, you know, I, do, I guess I just don't hang out with those people anymore. Because I don't have anything to talk about with them. But you know what I'm speaking of. Yeah. From experience. All right, all right. Make, I guess the point I'm trying to go towards is not so much what we've seen on TV and learned from Internet, but what have we seen with our own fucking two eyes that was right in front of us. And still you want to deny it. You want to go, oh, well, come on, they couldn't do this. And I saw them do this. I saw it. Yeah. How I interpret it is uh, it's a result of how much information I have. And at that time, I didn't have near as much as I have now. 
but I knew. And yeah. I was still the bad guy in the family because, hey, you, you're always negative and always blaming the government. Your kid's dead and you think it's my fucking fault? I mean, what, what, what is what you just said to me? You can't even get a decent rebuttal out of a victim because they're afraid and intimidated and they don't want to blame the person or persons that are responsible because well, they don't want to be next. Yeah, yeah, it's that whole Stockholm Syndrome. Thing. I don't know. You tell me, is it? Is that I what don't it know. is? I don't know. But you know what? You I don't just, have it? No, no. No. I just saw how something many? here, and you know how right. they're always saying that marijuana is such a bad thing. And oh, that, so you know, bad. demon weed, the devil's lettuce, all this other fun shit, or devil's <laughs> salad. And, and you can <laughs> overdose on marijuana. Well, no, thank you, you ever so much, David Standing Oak, because he just pointed out something that I didn't. I hadn't really pondered it that far, or at least not as far as he has. Do you know that why nobody has ever overdosed on marijuana? Yes, I do know. You really do? Because David's yeah, explanation you, makes a lot of sense you, to me. You would have to sit and smoke at one time about a ton and a half of weed to overdose on it. Okay, well, David... David has his estimates a little bit lower, but he said because if you laid out 100 joints and a lighter and told someone to try and smoke all of them, <laughs> no by way. the fourth joint, <laughs> yeah, they've already yeah. lost a lighter, ordered a pizza, cuddled their dog, and fell asleep. Yeah. da da Devil's lettuce. Yes. Well, all right, but uh, that's just a, a kinder way of explaining it. But, yeah, the amount of pot you'd have to smoke... To OD would be phenomenal. You couldn't sit down and do it at one time. It's not possible. No, because you would either That's get a massive case of the munchies or you would fall well, asleep. Okay. Even but, you, you know, I mean, say, it's just that, that. Say that you were immune to the munchies. Mm -hmm. Say that you had an allergy to dog hair. And say that you hated pizza and Doritos. Mm -hmm. And you just did smoke. Eventually, you're going to fall asleep. Yeah. There's, you, <clears throat> Yeah. There you go. There's no way to argue with that whole. The guy was right. Yeah. And no matter what you, how you overcome his objection, well, his uh, guidelines, you can't, you can't prove it. Can't be done. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I yeah. I just. If I, I sat down and I saw a hundred joints mm. sitting on the table in front of me, it'd be like, that would take me the rest of my life. <laughs> Well, I would see. I liked mine fresh. I would just roll them as I used them. Yes. I don't. I don't see the advantage of being so anal that you got to pre-roll your shit. And no, that's that. You know, modern day thinking shit. But I like mine fresh. You know, roll mm -hmm. it up. The little rituals, like you know, you go through your own personal little things with your little habits. And one of mine was I like to roll. So I would just roll one, but roll a hundred. What for? Who you? Who the fuck are you entertaining? Led Zeppelin for crying out loud? <laughs> hey, they're all dead now anyway, so wouldn't take much. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Anyway, what were we bit bitching about before we rudely interrupted ourselves? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking at the chat now and. I am Man. Becky is getting married. Woo woo! Really? Oh, that explains why she's been gone. Or she maybe it's a bonding because I just saw over on Fakey Book too that David and his honey are doing a bonding ritual. See, and and you thought <laughs> I have faith in human in human beings, whatever the fuck we call ourselves, you know, people. Yeah. You know. I don't I don't think that as a collective that we're all bad. I think that the people that have the the disgusting fucking need to run everybody's life are the ones that are bad and there's very few of them. But the squeaky wheel always gets greased. I mean, uh <laughs> you know what I mean. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Well, we're the ones that end up getting greased, but that's because it really looks good on paper. See? Mm -hmm. You could, man, this, this story is great. Oh, you could be free of the them and the those, and then you join our group and we'll protect you. 
And then you join their group and they go, well, except for the inoculations and the food and the water supply, uh -huh. everything is fucking peachy. Don't forget to pay your cable bill and tip your waitress on the way out. There you go. There you go. I'll give her a tip. Actually, when I do leave and give the waitress a tip, I always tell them, don't yeah. go out with married men, so leave your husband at home. And they'll look oh, at me, have, and have I'll I just to, grin. <laughs> have I got to brag about the the uh, service in Denmark? Uh-uh. Did you know that when I go down to the bar to have a beer or two or three or maybe even sometimes four, there is no need to tip? Oh, really? Why? Because the people that work, work under contracts. And the contracts that they work under, their union contracts, uh -huh. have not been stolen and manipulated by all the big fuckers that have, play golf and, you know, go snorkeling with whales. Uh -huh. So they get a decent living, so there's no need to tip them. They make enough money on, off their, um, their pay. There you go. Well, that whole the, see that's the the side of Denmark that you know, like Hans and them that bash it. They never bring that stuff up. They only want to talk about you know the similarities between Denmark and America, and that's only because the damn drug money's here, and you know corporate influence because a lot of these companies are tied at the nipple and they want to do business with the winners. You know. Yeah. Yeah. See, and I. Mm. Yeah. I just, wow, Becky's even doing it in a church and everything. Although Grimmy asked if she was afraid it was going to burst into, or she was going to burst into flames. But she thinks the whole church will cave in. Which is why if I ever did something like that, the only church it would be in is um, outside. Because that's, that's the first church. That's the church that was built before they they started putting buildings up. So, yeah. I'm not going to... Yeah. And see, I have a friend that his his son and his s significant other just did a binding ceremony. And he was telling me about it. And it was way cool. Uh, apparently, he, he uh, her dad gave Drew um, a sword. And the significance of that was he was passing on the uh, responsibility of drew taking care of his daughter now and being her protector and all this other fun stuff and i thought that's cool and each person got a different thing that was passed to them during this ceremony but it wasn't it wasn't a um state sanctioned or you know get the licenses and permits kind of thing it was just them and their family and I thought wow that is just really cool that's that's the way it should be done you know in my books hmm. Hmm. yeah well everybody's got their own personal wants there's nothing wrong with that yeah anyway I was just saying hey see there's a nut for every bolt me and Sark got together so yeah. there you go yeah. why not Becky yeah you know? Why? Why not anybody? Even I'm sure there's a girl out there somewhere that's going. I hope nobody buys me a donut for hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be. <laughs> Can you imagine the 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 woman that makes that circle <laughs> a circle? Oh wow! wow. Okay, uh, see, and now now I'm seeing one of those corny. Uh, mm. Harlequin romance movie kind of scenes where wow. where Hansel just got his cup of coffee from Starbucks and as he's <laughs> turning to leave this young lady bumps into him and splurps his coffee on him and he gets ready to go all German on her and then he looks into her eyes and she goes Oh, I'm so sorry, with a German accent. And he just kind of <laughs> puddles. <laughs> and they yaw vaulted into paradise hand in hand. <laughs> hey, did, you, did you know I got invited to this party here in Denmark a while back? Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was one of those big parties. Where all, all the, even the gods were all invited, you know? Shit, by the morning time, everybody's all laid out on the floor, laying on somebody or something, and you're drunk, just 
fucked up. And at the very crack of dawn, this fucking guy comes bursting in the fucking room from the ceiling. And he's got this big staff. And as he lands, he jabs his staff down in the ground. And it goes. And he yells, Thor. And this girl looks up at him and says, Oh, you're Thor. I'm Thor. Thor. I can't piff. (laughs) (laughs) I got to remember that one. I know a couple people I got to tell that to. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, well. Mm. I I think getting married is kind of fun. Everybody should do it at least two or three times just to see what it feels like. Oh, really? Mm. Well, actually, I call it a a gauge of your honesty uh, meter. Mm. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. I believe believe the death till us part, part, but the other partner wasn't willing to die. They wanted it out instead. (laughs) (laughs) I'll kill you. Don't bother me any. You, you You milk this duck. Fuck it. Let's quit. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, always resistance from the female. Don't Damn get it. That. <laughs> well, you Poor know, sir. maybe it's that whole Jewy thing that you got going on, you know, where, where everybody else has to do it, not you. You're just going to sit there and reap the rewards, you know, like this whole the the leeches that be want to yeah. thin down the herd because Mother Earth can only support so many human beings and so therefore it's you up. all have to die. We yeah. need to survive because well and, we're important. And without any definitive proof yet, they have convinced a lot of people of this fantasy, one way or the other. Yeah. And it's based on man-made shortages in the first place because if you have followed my teachings over the past few years you will know i believe in aquaponics well and you know the other thing that's really wild is when you stop and think because they say that we can't feed all of the people on the planet and then two articles later there will Uh, be this this article about how much food gets thrown away Every day, how many tons of food gets thrown away every day? And I think you mm-hmm. just said we don't have enough food right. to feed everyone, it's and yet man-made. tons of food gets thrown away every day. Wow. Do- Obviously, those that are not hungry aren't where that food that's getting thrown away is at. Well, or it wouldn't because- be getting thrown away. But it's based on the derivatives market. If you learn how trade deals are met and how they're actually applied and that you support them through your silence and buying the products that they do you that they do produce through them. Well, there you go. It's a lot of work. Who wants to be bothered with saving those fucking starving people? Fuck. Get a job, you fucking lazy cunts. What's wrong with you? Well, that's that's the myth that we live under. You know, while Donald Trump has $10 billion because he's such a shrewd businessman, there's 6 billion people that don't have a pot to piss in because Donald Trump's got $10 billion. But you can't explain that to anyone. They do not seem to fucking get it. You argue with me about it. I tried to tell you. I think, not you, I think, if I've got a billion of anything, that's because other people don't have theirs. I took it from them. That's why I've got a billion of something. Not only did I take that from them, but I paid people to take that from them. Ah. So I've got in my own motherfucking enforcement to keep me on my billions. How do you do it any other way if it's not done through force? Because hmm. I live in a small area at the end of the world. There's no billionaires here. And I'll tell you, there's one other thing I've never seen where I live now for the almost uh, three years now. You know what that is? What's that? A homeless person. Really? Nope. I've seen travelers passing through town 
and I've seen drunks at the bus, but I've never seen anybody that was down and out and in the street. Wow. That's kind of cool. Even our beggars have a better way, um, better standard of living than some people that work for a living in the country I'm from. Huh. Because the mindset here is different. Well, yeah. You know, and it's not like these people ain't going to stand and defend themselves. It's just they're aware there's nothing to defend themselves from. So they tend to be a little bit more generous with what they have. And they don't seem to mind supporting some beggars that sit in front of a grocery store so that, you know, they just keep the number small. So there's not too many of them. But they're there by choice. They're not there because, oh, I'm from Romania. I had to come here. It's how they survive. And the Europeans and the Scandinavians get along and understand each other that way. Hmm. Yeah. They tolerate me and my I can't speak Danish. I can't say two words in Danish that people don't what? <laughs> what are you trying to say? Yeah. So no, we'll do it the English way and you guys will just figure out it's easier that way and they go, Yeah, a lot easier. <laughs> you Cirque still laughs at me when I say well. Uh, say well. Say what in Danish. Okay, how do you say say what in Danish? Mm -hmm. I ain't going to tell you it's a it's a personal thing between me and my wife and a couple of family members that heard me say it <laughs> <laughs> and laughed their asses off pretty much yeah ah. it's it's fun you know it's hard not to take light of it i mean it's funny cuz i read danish with a english t you know english knowledge ah and like english in their language certain letters are silent but then on top, they go different. They go, not only is it silent, but it's replaced with another sound completely. Well, nobody told me that part, but not in every word. It only applies in these words and those words. Just like English, only different. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, you know what I mean. So it throw, sounds like throw, the rules to throw. playing canasta. I can do this, but you can't do that. And until you do this, you can't do that. And red threes yeah. are worth this, and black threes do uh -huh. this. And yeah, yeah. And and the good side of the Danes is they're such a small population. They know how few people on the planet speak Danish, so they're kind of proud of that. Oh well, cool. Yeah. Every every monkey can speak English. I mean, fuck, what's the big deal of that? It's the part that's hard is to be understood when you're speaking it in a, with a Danish accent. And that's the only weakness I see in them. They think their Danish uh, accent makes their English sound funny. And I go, wow, that sounds exotic. Boy, that's one hell of an accent to have. Yeah, I think but it's they cool. And they don't know. Well, I've tried my best to tell them, but some people are just shy. Yeah. I'm not shy. Yeah. See, and but I, I sure as hell don't want to spend 10 minutes trying to figure, uh, trying to tell the girl I want a pack of cigarettes. That, well, she would probably be laughing her ass off with you trying to say that in Danish. Oh, it, and it's, it is true. But remember Sam Kennison, the screamer? Yeah. Comic? Uh-huh. I'm in 7-Eleven trying to get a pack of marbles. Marlboro, smoky, smoky. <laughs> you know? Right. <laughs> Because that is how hard it is to communicate with somebody in a foreign language. Uh, yeah, it's and not easy. Isn't Ooh, it hard. funny when you when you don't speak a certain language that someone is? Because I run into this occasionally with um, some Hispanics that that uh, come through here, and mm. you know they'll be. Do you? Uh, you know, they'll ask me if I speak Spanish, and it's like, uh, no. And so I catch myself. <laughs> My volume gets louder, and I speak slower. And it's like, they're not fucking deaf, Graham. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. But. <laughs> but I catch myself doing that. And then I have to, I, st I still speak slower, but I, I'm not mm -hmm. going, do yo under. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we're all like that. That's the weird part. It's part of. It's a part of nature. It's it's in us when we communicate with other people. 
Mm-hmm. Which is, I don't know. You think adjusting the volume or the speed? It, no, it's the understanding that's not crossing through. Yeah. So I just tell them all. I goes, hey man, you're just gonna laugh. My wife still laughs when I try to speak Danish. So eh, it's it's too much. It's like speaking English with a mouthful of glass. <laughs> no, thank you. I'll pass. Well, to me, you know, I don't know. It, communication is obviously not my strong suit. You know, or I wouldn't still be in this world with so few people that uh, understand what the things are that I speak of. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Alan B. has joined us. Hi, Alan B. Mm. Whoever Alan B. is. Uh-oh. I don't know. You don't get too many new people on the dark table, though. No, we but don't. Today's like a reunion. We had cakes. We had cakes and Becky. Mm. I know. It's like sweet. Wow. We haven't had cakes and Becky on the show at the same time in about a year. It has been a while. And then yeah. little Becky went off and got all, you know, coupled and everything. Yeah. Apparently she found her, her sweet spot, or he did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Alan B says, oh. hiya, brother. Oh, ah. hello. Oh. Yeah, that's my little brother. Ah, okay. He, he's the, he's the one that, that later in his days came into a big bag of money and decided to mend our fence and, and make things better by giving me some money. Ah, because you're a well, Jewy Jewy a, bastard, huh? Or a ooey, ooey gooey rich Jewy. No, but he got so much in this thing deal that he's going through that he says he can't spend it all. <laughs> so so he was looking for a few friends and relatives to, to try to, you know. Help him with the burden. Ba yeah, base and in a strange way. Well, yeah, if, if you were to speak to him the way I have, yeah, it, it appeases him in ways to to do these things and i happen to be one of the people on his list of people to do it with and i went whoa that's pretty cool ah yeah 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 i i know i wasn't gonna say anything about him but yeah that's that's my little brother cool. in all his glorious splendor Ooh, splendor yeah. huh yeah yeah well, as opposed to splenda I don't know. I don't eat that shit. <laughs> I don't either. My I see wife it on the grocery would store have list. A fucking attack if I came in the house with synthetic products. As well, she should. You, you might not know this about Cirque, but she has her limits. <laughs> I would imagine so. Yes. <laughs> poor, poor yes. circle. Yeah. I'm going to have, yes, I'm definitely enjoying spending your money. Thank you very much. See? Yeah. Well, I figured if I'm going to be called out for being a leech, I might as well um, at least own up to it. Ah. If that is, in, ca in fact, what I truly am. Mm. Yeah, because I don't, I don't know. It's all a matter of interpretation. You know, your you know, lovely bride told me one time that, what? Uh, just because someone called me or slapped a label on me didn't mean I had to keep wearing it. Oh, exactly. Well, see, I have as much pain as I do pleasure with my good Nazi wannabe friend Hansel. Ah. You know? Oh, Hansel reminds me of so many people I've outlived, outweighted, outlasted, um, walked away from. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but... He he's the last of a dying breed, and I don't know whether to step on him, laugh at him, or shoo him away. But I do all three, so I, you know, I'm trying to be versatile. <laughs> well, you're. I think you're trying to figure out which one works best, and then go with it. <laughs> oh, Alan's See, trying to be a smart ass. Now, now we know what he's paying for. <laughs> I guess I'm on the payroll as a, uh, basically as uh, an advisor, you know, to help him maintain his life and go forward in it. Ah. 
that's why I introduced the two of you because he was saying he had some, you know, uh, muscle problems. Mm-hmm. And I thought right of you. I went, eh, Mary can figure this one out. She's like the damn, you know, Sherlock Holmes of juices. <laughs> Sorry, Mary, that didn't, didn't quite come out the way I meant it to. <laughs> Whoops. But I, you know what I mean. Magic, the magic remedies, uh, the the stuff that's so. Wait a minute. Are you want me to do what with this stuff? Yeah, rub it on your skin. It rubs it on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. Oh, it does this whenever it's told to. Right, precious. <laughs> okay, dear. We are dog walkers at the old. Freddy Townhouse. Ah. Yeah, see, he's calling me his tax right off. You know, because rich people come into problems they didn't have when they were poor. Ah. And what some people don't do, th- we have a cousin that did this, and he he didn't look at the pitfalls that money brought him. So he frivolously blew his wad in a relatively short amount of time. Ah. And my little brother decided, hey, wait a minute. I don't want to do that. Let's try something different here. <laughs> ah, there you go. Yeah. And this little fucker, he even did the math, right? The amount of money he wants to put my way over the next few years and such. He said that uh, if I collected from him for 30 years, I still ain't touching his capital. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. And yeah. yes, Alan, I am the voodoo lady or the witch doctor or whatever. The guys at work say either call it my voodoo bag or my witch doctor ba- bag. So, yeah, but what it, the hey? It, wor- it works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, you've helped a lo- you help a lot of people. Well, I hope so. It doesn't matter if you know, though. That's the part that you got to start getting a grip on. Well, no, and, you know, really it's just kind of a, I just... I just do my thing, and and if it helps them, then it helps them, and if it doesn't, then, you know, they don't say anything to me, and it's okay. Mm. Well, I was walking through town today. I Uh like to go into town on my Saturday morning and, you know, get the sats and look at some kids and peoples and grown-ups and teenagers and make fun of people. And I remembered three people today. Usually I can't tell you who I saw, right? One of them. Was a young kid, twenties, early twenties, wearing a military suit. Garb, mm-hmm. You know, couldn't tell. I, I just, I didn't know the rank and all that. But, I mean, he was all spiffy and shiny and buttons and ribbons and this and that everywhere. And I was watching people look at him and how he was reacting to the attention he was getting. And it was kind of hard to define if people were like. Well, you're one of those nasty military people, too. Holy shit, I haven't seen a military in this town in so long. I forgot we had one. <laughs> yeah, and, you and know, everything in between. That, that is the cool thing when you, when you observe others. You know, and that, that's why when I took my grandkids down to see my Auntie Wanda, who is, mm, you know, I, I know I keep saying this, but. Mm-hmm. And when I talked to my mom this morning, she said that she's thinking that. Maybe not by the fourth, maybe not make it to the fourth of July, which, you know, when mom Mm. said that, I just, I just said, you know what, mom, Mm. that will be her independence day then, won't it? Because she will no longer be in pain. She will no longer have to deal with this shit. And Mm. when, when mom, when that clicked with her, she went, you know, you're right. But when I took the grandkids down to see her, just to watch her face. It was amazing to watch the interaction between mm. her and my grandkids and the grandkids mm-hmm. and everyone else in the room. And it was, huh, I just sat there and, and tried not to be a blubbering fool while I was, because <laughs> it was so cool. You could see but, yeah. her. These were, yeah. these were life memories that, you know, happy life memories to send her out with. And I the just saw. The power of the non word. Yeah, and it was yeah. just amazing, just amazing. And and the family mm. keeps putting stuff on our family thing about this one's going to see Auntie Wanda this weekend, and this one's going next weekend, and all of this other fun stuff. And it's like, 
please do not, you know, don't do this pat on the head and we're just waiting for you to die and that kind of shit. Because, you know, people do that not intentionally, but that's <laughs> but that's yeah. kind of the, yeah. the vibe that they yeah. put off is I'm coming to yeah. see you before you kick the bucket kind of thing. Kids and aren't corrupted yet. Yeah. And yeah. And kids didn't act that way. You know, and so, know yet. Yeah. yeah, and so she just kind of glowed with that, and I, I just <laughs> sat back and just watched, and I know I had a permanent grin on my face. I know See, I did. And, and oddly enough, you have stepped into the next phase of my s- second part of my three-part story. Ah. Because not only did I remember the military fellow that was walking through the town Uh but i i was very aware today i sat down and had a cigarette and i was very aware of the little kids that would look at me and smile yeah and not not all of them no 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 i'm not i'm not an egomaniac it's a special kid not all of them are that uh curious and open a lot of kids are real shy and oh but the ones that that fixate and they see me, and then they, they stare, and then I see them grin. Little kids, two, three, four years old. Yeah. What What is it they don't know that the rest of us idiots know? <laughs> I think it's how to judge. They haven't got that far yet. They're yeah. still just happy to be alive at that age, that little age, that little window of smiling at it, strangers because they can't hurt you. Your dad's right there. What's the stranger going to do? Yeah. Your super dad is going to protect you. So they don't think of shit like that. Or they're holding mom's hand or whatever. But And the third one, this is weird. I was walking by the grocery store I was gonna that I usually go to, and I saw a woman park her bicycle and get off it and not lock it up and go and get her food. Ah. And see, I rarely lock my car. Rarely. Bic- no, bicycle. Yeah, but I mean, I don't yeah. I don't yeah. ride a bicycle that much anymore. Right, right. <laughs> but, you know, when <laughs> I go somewhere, yeah. I rarely yeah. lock my car cuz it's like what I for? would Yeah. Well, I would much because rather just a, an I, added expense when you get the car back. <laughs> yeah. See, Oops, and I would I just, say. I'd much rather um, mm. they just take the car than break into the house trying to find keys or whatever. Yeah, well. You know, so it's, still, it's a car. I believe, I, right, but I still believe you draw those things to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I just but don't. TV and movies have made us believe that all these things happen by circumstance and accident. No, they don't. Yeah. No. You bring them on yourself. And, you know, I was having that discussion with uh, a friend yesterday. She'd stopped in to, well, she was just stopping in because she was back in town packing up because she's getting ready to get married as well. Whoa. Yeah, it's like something in the The air or whatever. And uh, she was telling me how her son had gotten a motorcycle. And her mom was really kind of freaking out about it because, well... Missy's brother was killed on a motorcycle so her mom was Mm. freaking out thinking oh my god I'm going to lose a grandchild now as well and Missy said you know mom when you really stop and think about how many motorcycles are on the road and then you realize how few accidents there really are and Mm -hmm. then you go to how few someone actually was killed in them Stop worrying about my son so much because you know what? Mm. He's a responsible kid and he learned he learned from his uncle um, and you know he's also done the whole driving thing and everything so and he is he's a good kid and he doesn't he doesn't drive around like an idiot. So you know it's cool to see that other people are now going wait a minute you know just because this one thing happened doesn't mean that's going to always happen just because there was this one thing on the news doesn't mean that that really happens everywhere every day all the time (laughs) see the brainwashing is so well done yeah They, they they work us like a machine it's just sad i i don't know yeah and you know to me when you worry about stuff like that 
you're spending all kinds of time and energy on something on the might have beens, the maybes, the something that probably won't even happen, and yet you're expending an awful lot of time and energy and stress. Well, let's compare it to a math equation as dorks, mm-hmm. okay? And if if you're trying to add, say, a 12-digit number and a 7-digit number together, I don't think bringing a plumber's uh, pipe is going to help you at all. No, it's you know, not. Or a saw or a hammer or a jack. You need the tool for the job. And we're not taught these things. What tools are applicable to accomplish whatever you're trying to do you know and then the system so stuck on this show me your work crap you know fuck fuck you i gave you the fucking answer why isn't that good enough oh you have an attitude we'll deal with you yeah that didn't make my answer wrong though but it distracted from that and gave them a new thing to beat on me with because, oh, I was non-compliant and wouldn't prove to them how I came to the conclusion I got to. Wasn't enough I got there. They want to know how I got there. I mean, hey, that's none of your damn business. <laughs> and, you know, I had a math teacher in high school that would do that. You know, he'd, but he wouldn't, even if you got the wrong answer, if your method of arriving at that answer was a method that he could follow, you would still get credit for it. You know, which I thought was kind of cool. Of course, he was also one of those math teachers that if you had a calculator yeah. in your book bag, you got an F yeah. for the day. Didn't make a shit that, and bit of difference if you never pulled it out. You still got an F for lame. the day. Yeah, yeah, but that was lame because I was, I was there when the calculator was fresh. Mm-hmm. And if you didn't know how to use it and how to apply the application to get the answer you needed, it wasn't going to do you any good anyway. So yeah. not allowing it was stupid. It was a hindrance. See, and I just, I I didn't have a calculator but just because I wasn't going to spend we, that kind of money on something when I had pencils and paper. You got one on the computer now you probably never use. Yeah, I don't use it. See, uh, me, me neither. Rare, very rare occasions when I want something bizarre and obscure. But otherwise, I'll just sit down and figure it out in my head. Yeah. How how I do it? That's none of your damn business. That I do it is all that matters. See, that's I think, in my humble opinion, what is the core of what is wrong with us is everybody needs proof of shit about all the wrong shit. Yeah. You don't have to convince them that the inoculation's got mercury in it. They don't even get that far in the equation. Uh, the government said I need one. Yeah. Mm-mm. My doctor We're said right. I need one. Which is okay, basically very, the government. Oh, the greedy, yeah, the greedy fucking cunts in medicine. How can these people do this to us and know what they're doing with a clear conscience? I don't get it. Now, the ones that know what they're doing, yeah, I, I get. But there's, you know, there's a lot of them. And my doctor was one of them. And Which side? She She really didn't know a lot of the studies that were published about statin drugs you know she had just read the little insert and listened to the pharmaceutical person and thought hey this is a good thing so when i started bringing her articles about studies that had been done in europe and other places on statin Mm -hmm. drugs then she went oh and so she doesn't push anymore because she knows yeah, what good does it do our other customers? Yeah, clients or whatever you might want to call them. But she's still a pill dispenser as far as I'm concerned because that's what these fuckers do because it pays their bills. Yeah. You know? And that I think that's where I'm going to with this, you know, bringing up hands, calling me a leech and all that shit. You know, I would much rather be a leech on my brother or whoever else is in my life that's got an excess than to be a pill pusher, doctor, or a scumbag lawyer, or all these other things that they tried to groom me for that I mm. could have accomplished. Yeah. But I, refu- I refused to walk that road. I decided to do something less, uh, well, maybe not less harmful, but <laughs> more fun. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You know, one of the other but, fun yeah. things was she had a... a 
she had a patient that was having problems, couldn't do the, the <coughs> hormone therapy and all that other fun shit for hot flashes. And so she mm. asked me about it, and I just happened to have in my little voodoo, ba- voodoo bag, I had a little um, thingy that, that I have used for mm. um, hot flashes and stuff. And I said, well, if you don't mind, here's this, and, and here's my card where she can either get a hold of me or so she can go online because this is just... You know, something that mm-hmm. you can just buy. It's pre-prepared. And uh, I have I have seen on my website that um, someone is purchasing things on there. So it's like, ah, cool. So apparently isn't she did pass it on. Isn't it strange, though, that even though I'm again totally against the medical profession, right? Uh-huh. I am positive as you are that there are doctors out there, okay, that have good intention but their peers will always keep them down yeah whether they want to ever admit it whether it surfaces as a reality or not the truth is it's there and the and the the basis of that is they inoculate children with packaging that will kill them yeah and everybody claims oh no it's safe and oh no it's no no the whole thing is a sham and and what we need is for doctors to come forward and admit it just like the pot thing. I'll be happy when the government, whatever, all these fucking two faced governments come forth and say, yes, we lied to you about marijuana. Yes, we did. Every bit of it was bullshit. Yeah. But they'll never do. They'll never. Okay. But still, I'm not going to hold I, my breath on that. Cause I really don't want to look like Smurf at is everything they have said negative about hash pot and hemp all been bullshit have have you ever seen a negative from any of those three things i haven't i haven't personally okay. but Me i neither. do know i do know that you know as with anything on this planet you know people have sensitivities to certain things that the majority oh, yeah. do I've, not i've I've smoked with a few people in my life that sell me in the first place. No, pot makes me paranoid. Oh, okay. More for me. We don't want you smoking that devil's lettuce if it makes you paranoid. Yeah. Not here. Oh, no. Here, have some. That like they do in the fucking movies and damn uh, on the media. Here, do this. Are you fucking kidding me? When you got a bag of smoke, you the only your close friends are going to burn it with you. You know, walk up to strangers and go, here, try this. This will make your hair fall out. Yeah. Oh, and, it's but, a, yeah. And see, if they were honest about that shit, you know, especially on the commercials on TV, can you imagine what those commercials would be like? And it wouldn't be Fast Talker or what's or whatever, whatever at the, yeah. at the end of it. It would Three be. Three guys standing in a circle bitching about, it's my hit, man. Pass the fucking joint. Yeah. Not somebody cramming it in your face trying to get you to smoke it. They're the ones trying to take it from you so they can get their share. Yeah. (laughs) That's that's what pot smokers do. If the damn thing's burning, somebody better be sucking on it. (laughs) It's not a dick for crying out loud. Don't be embarrassed. Yeah. But anyway, you know, like I always say, everything that we're told and, and stuffed down our throats and all that shit always turns out to be bullshit anyway. Why is it taking society so fucking long to catch on? How many people got to die from chemotherapy before they fucking look at the link, the great cancer hoax, and go, holy fuck, we've been lied to again? Mm -hmm. Still? And And this is 40 years after the fact. This isn't new. Yeah. And... We all have relatives and whatnot that will not listen to natural remedy. They're sold on chemotherapy and pills and doctors and hospitals. The very things that keep them sick. And it's because they're afraid. They get you afraid mm -hmm. and then they tell you this is the way out of being afraid. Well, how do you... I can't justify being afraid of something I've never done that's not, you know, 
blatantly stupid. Like, I'm not going to go jump off the top of the house to prove I'm not afraid of falling off the house. But what is there to be afraid of dying for if you haven't done it yet? How do you know what it is? It's just what stories you hear from other people until you do it yourself. Yeah. I know for a fact my wife isn't in any hurry to get rid of me. So <laughs> it's not like, hey, well, he's talking big shit, man. I hope she poisons his meatloaf. That ain't going to happen. No. No, no. But, of course, I have had a relationship or two where that was in question. <laughs> Don't eat the <Yeah>. meatloaf! <laughs> Yeah, Never. yeah. You need a food taster. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, well, yeah, there's two sides to every story. Yes, there are. And you know what? We're just about out of time. How the hell did we do that? I don't know. I think we just jabbered for like, like almost two jab- hours. But I like jabbering with you about crap, Miss Mary. It makes me giggle. It is quite fun. Quite entertaining. And and it was kind of cool to have my brother actually come on here and, uh, you know, he's, I'm the leeches that be in his life. Ah, there you go. Yeah, it was cool. Hey. Thank you, Alan, for jumping in and playing along so and now, chitty-chatting. Now, and Hans can sleep tonight because he'll find out that I never took one nickel of his, you know, of his vast wealth. Not only did I not take it, if I'd have known it was his, I would have mailed it back to him, the fucking greedy prick. Uh, and probably spent more in postage shipping it back to him than but it... without interest you greedy wannabe Nazi <laughs> <laughs> oh well y'all been listening to the dork table here on reallibertymedia.com channel 3 also on the rlmradio.xyz site and all kinds of other internet stations and uh, yeah let's see who is Kira is on later on today with the bridge and Bo Diddy tonight and then tomorrow Grimmy with some blues to lead you into Hal Anthony's that's gonna open up a can of whoop ass on yo ass behind the woodshed. He does that behind the woodshed because he doesn't believe in public humiliation. He'd much rather take you back there, whoop your ass, let you kinda come sniveling out of there going, That didn't hurt <laughs> uh, and I would like to I would like to establish a, a very happy Happy future for my good friend, Becky Haynes. Yes. Thank you. I, I have spoken again and will soon. Yes. Congratulations, Becky. I'm happy for you, sweetheart. And Ta-da! y'all have an absolutely amazing rest of your weekend. And please be safe on the 4th of July.